Hey all, uh, welcome to SSN Review. And this video we are going to unbox and review the Bond Traeger Iron Elite R and the Flare R City Bike Light Set. So the R here stands for rechargeable. Uh, I have another one, uh, another pair of this in my old bike. So I have used quite some time, a couple of weeks. It's not an actually an old bike, but a couple of weeks old. So, and this is a new one for my second bike. And we'll see what's in the box first. So this is what you get inside the box. This is the Iron Elite R light. And this is the Flare, the Flare R city light so yeah this is a small one this is quite a big one so on the website if you see it's mentioned uh, 1000 lumens that we have it here and it's uh, it has also mentioned that it this light has a 5000 milliamp hour battery but when i open the box and uh, open the manual here they have separate piece of paper and uh, it states that the new battery specification for the ion pro rt and the ion elite r which is this one is uh, 4900 milliamp hour instead of the 5000 so not a big difference but still something to note there's uh, uh other things uh, uh are slightly different as well which is also mentioned here so yeah, this is the manual. This is the strap for the small, the rare light, the flare rod light. So this can easily slide in here. Yeah, and then this goes to your, uh, just behind, just below the seat, the bar below the seat. Uh, or you can tie it anywhere actually, wherever you want. And then while removing, it comes off quite easily as well. Uh, what else we get here? We get uh, this one. This is for the Iron Elite R. So it goes like this, locks it up. Uh, I didn't hear a click or anything. Yeah. So, and then you can use this or attach it to the handlebar or anywhere you want. So there's a rubber uh, strap or something here so that it doesn't get scratched. The cycle or the handlebar doesn't get scratched, so that's good. It seems quite sturdy. And this is a very tiny micro USB charger, which comes with the box. Uh, anyway, so if you have a Trek bike uh, and the blender mount, so the blender base and the blender mount, you can use that instead of this, which looks a bit more, a bit cleaner, according to me, I like that. So I, in both of my bikes, I have the blender base and the mount for this light. Oh, yeah, this was quite a bit tight. Uh, I can show you the blender mount and the base in the next video. So today I was actually about to show you how it looks on the road, the light, but it's raining outside so I thought I'll just review uh, uh, the contents and the light itself and various other features and maybe to show you the light uh, indoors but I'll make another video where I will show you the light uh, outdoors as well. And then in that video I'll show you the base which I have in both of the bikes. Okay, let's take this out. Keep this here and remove it. Uh, okay. So, first, let's see the lights. So, nothing uh, special. This is the main light. It has two orange kind of trans semi transparent on both the sides. This is the chart for the charging, the charging for the USB micro for the micro USB port for the micro USB um, cable 
and this is the mount so it says uh, 2x tap two times to turn on the uh, light so two times so right now I have disabled the steady modes I guess so so if you see this this is the most brightest I guess yes so I have disabled this, uh, the flash modes the this is just the steady modes these are just the steady modes so three steady modes high medium and low high medium and low so for high it is 1000 lumens medium is 650 I guess so yeah 650 and low is 350 yeah but if you want the uh, flash modes as well so what you can do is let me turn off now I press it for eight seconds and you will see a flash here yeah so that this means the now I'll now I have enabled the flash modes as well on top of the steady modes so double tap turn on the light so now you see the flash modes see and this is another flash mode this is the daytime flash mode this is wow so bright the highest medium low the nighttime flash mode daytime flash mode yeah it's total five modes so you can turn off now and uh, see what's so special in the manual so in the manual i read that uh, the lights are not according to the german road traffic regulation do not uh, conform to the german road traffic regulation both the lights so maybe it's something to note i'm not from germany but uh, so i'm good but if you are from germany maybe yeah have a, a read through this before buying this light so here, here if you see in the manual it says 5000 milliamp hour but uh, they have a sp separate paper where where they write that it's a new specification so they are just using the old manual uh, now, but they updated the, the battery later on so yeah the, uh, the five modes which I talked about high medium low and the uh, night flash and day flash they have all written here along with their runtime so i generally use the night flash mode and it says 26 hours runtime so yeah i would say it's more or less correct uh, i get around that uh, with my uh, light so far what i have used so it's okay and uh, they have uh, another information here so when you charge when you put this light on charge so you will see a uh, flashing red light so red flashing light means less than five percent then if it is red steady means five to twenty five percent battery life and if it's green steady means twenty five to hundred percent so that's the uh, battery life indicator but when charging sorry so this is not the charging indicator but this is the normal indicator um, when you operate the light but when you charge it's slightly different so red flash between uh, means uh, the charge is between charging is done between 0 to 75 percent um, green flash means 75 percent to 99 percent and then green steady if you get a green steady light that means 100 percent charged it will have the green steady light for a minute or so and then it will go off so yeah so if you see don't no light then it's all all charged so you can use it so that is quite helpful to know how much it's charged so yeah i think these are most of the features so you know the five modes you know and yeah there's one more thing uh if you want to reset the factory uh, you want to reset the uh, uh, factory settings um, go to the default settings so you can press this for 15 seconds this button and it will reset 
So you will see when it reaches eight seconds, you will see one flash. And then again, when it reaches 15 seconds, you will see another flash. So then uh, you know that it's been reset. So that's one feature which I missed. And I guess I have talked about almost all the features that comes with this light. So now coming to the things which I don't like about this light or maybe the features uh, which I'm missing. Uh, one is which, which is also there in their higher models. So one is uh, their integration with uh, the Garmin uh, bike computer. So if you turn that on, this light turns on. So you don't have to turn all the lights in your cycle and the computer separately. Just turn on the Garmin and all lights are synced. So that is a cool feature. And they don't have any sensors or something like that. So like uh, I've seen lights coming with brake sensors now, brake sensors and uh, all sort of things, but this is a front light, so yeah, it's okay. But the red light specifically, if they have brake sensors and uh, they indicate when the brake is pressed, that's quite helpful. Yeah, that would be nice. And this uh, is, uh, so you can't connect an app. So there's no app for this light. You can't connect the, or control this light through an app. So that is also missing. So those are other features missing. Uh, so there are, I've seen a couple of, so once I start researching the lights for my bike, um, as you all know that, uh, yeah, I start getting ads for, for lights from different websites. And I found a couple of uh, lights, which are, I don't know if they are famous or not, but they, they are slightly cheaper than this, but uh, they have a lot of, a lot of, features which are not there in this, but I didn't trust the brand. So I went for a well-known brand and I'm quite happy with the purchase. The, the quality, seems, the light seems quite sturdy. The quality seems great. And uh, even the light, which I will be showing you in the next video, you will see for yourself. The light is uh, great as well. So they have another, Bontrager also has another model, the 700 Lumen, um, which is slightly cheaper than this. I didn't go with that because uh, uh, I was okay with 700, but I was not okay with the battery specification with the battery that the, the light has. It is like half the power. Like this has, this is 5,000 milliamp hour. The other one is 2,600. So it's uh, kind of half. So I'm okay with the Lumen, 700 Lumen, but I'm not okay with the battery. So I went to uh, paid slightly extra, like 20, 30 bucks, I guess. And went with this pair. So yeah. Okay, now coming to this light. So now this light is an interesting one. So this is a 35 lumen, this is 1000, this is 35. And, but this has a sensor also. Uh, the sensor, it uh, knows the, uh, it, it has a light sensor, I guess. Yeah, so what it does is if it's daytime, it will automatically uh, set itself on a more brightness level. But if it's nighttime, uh, it will set itself to a less bright, uh, to a lesser um, brightness level. So that is helpful in, uh, for the extending the battery life. So that's, that's, uh, that's quite good. And how do you enable and disable that? Same way, uh, press this for eight seconds, you will see a beep, uh, sorry, you will see a, yeah, a light. Uh, So let's see the modes. So you can switch on the modes by just pressing this. So this is the steady mode. And this is slightly dim. This is flash. And this is another flash. So I have now not enabled the sensor, the light sensor, the auto brightness mode. They call it the auto brightness. So I'll turn it off. Now I'll press it for eight seconds. Yeah, you see that the light, that, that's the indicator for the toggle or the enable or disable of the auto brightness. So now if I turn on, so turning on is just one press instead of two press. So in this light, you have to double press to turn on. This is just single press. So 
you see this is one see this is the next one but it goes automatically it dims itself automatically because it sees the light of this guy my main light and see if you go this so it starts bright then it goes a bit low so it senses the light so this one let's say see it starts bright but it goes dim because it senses the light around it so this is the auto brightness mode so I always use this with auto brightness enabled so for the max battery life and I use this with the with this flash flash mode because uh, when the light flashes I guess people notice more so instead of a steady light so I use this this is the steady mode and this is the flash mode steady and the flash so in auto brightness if you are turned on auto brightness I think there are two modes you will see so the flash and the steady okay so that's the different mode so this is the port for the charging cable and it's quite small so it comes with this one so I use it with this one or you can use a mount so there are in the under just under the seat there's a mount just which goes directly or it fits directly to the seat you can even attach it there and put this light there or else you can use the bar and use this this attachment which is which comes in the box which is quite so yeah and uh, uh, yeah and the charging the battery status of this one so the battery status I it, this, it hasn't mentioned any charge status here how to know the charge but uh, yeah the battery status if the red steady if it is red and steady it is 5% 25% if it is red and flashing it is less than 5% so that's this is the status indicator I don't I'm not sure if you can see so here this light will flash uh, I actually don't remember so I, I know that there's also a charging indicator so when I charge I see an indicator I think uh, but I don't remember maybe yeah but it, it would be easy to figure it out I guess okay and yeah one thing from the manual uh, which I think I should mention so both of them have the battery saving mode I guess when the battery falls below 5% so they turn down the lumen so uh, for an additional 30 minutes or so so uh, this light I guess the low battery mode it uh, the output brightness is reduced to 50 lumens this light I'm not too sure about this light it is 35 but the battery saving if it goes below uh, So it just says the light automatically changes to low battery flash mode when the battery supply goes below 5%. It doesn't say the lumens, but it's okay. So for an additional hour, but you get an additional hour with this. So that's quite, uh, that's good to know. Uh, that's a good feature as well. So yeah, that's all about this light. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this purchase and especially for the blender compatibility I like this it looks quite good on my back all right I hope this video has been helpful ah oh, but before before I end one thing I forgot to mention is the waterproof um, it is the IPX4 waterproof so both of the lights so that's also an important thing to note yeah so yeah so that's that's uh, about it i hope this video has been helpful and uh, see you in the next one bye bye